MMA boxing talk here. This is a post fight video for Gegard Mousasi versus Uriah Hall. Gegard Mousasi getting the first round TKO against Uriah Hall in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Um, Mousasi gets redemption because this was their second fight. Uriah Hall won their first one, which was you know, it was a pretty spectacular finish to be quite honest. But uh, it was kind of it was a fluke because you know Gegar Mousasi had never been finished in that manner before. Gegar Mousasi was the favorite in that fight by a pretty large margin. Um, so in this fight, you know, he had to go out and you know redeem himself, and when he did, first round, first round TKO. Um, he looked good on the feet, you know. I believe. I believe he got the takedown. Musashi got the takedown with a minute left in the round. Uh, it took him about 40 seconds, 45 seconds to get the um, the ref to come in and stop it. But um, you know, the first four minutes of that round, they were they were standing on their feet. It was just a you know a stand up battle. Musashi, I thought, was getting the better of uh, Uriah Hall. Uriah Hall landed a couple nice uh, kicks that just you know grazed the chin of Musasi, but uh, Musasi definitely landed the more significant shots, strikes in that, in that first four minutes of that round, plus he got a takedown and obviously finished the fight at the end, but um, he was looking good despite dominating Uriah Hall in the end, um, and this is something like, you know, obviously Musasi had a little more incentive for this one, he really wanted to, you know, right the wrong get that that win back and um but normally you know he would have just dominated him like he did kind of in the first fight up until Uriah Hall stopped him because Musasi was controlling him with the wrestling and Musasi is very very well rounded you know he's a, he's a great striker great technical striker um great grappler as well a lot of experience great submissions I mean this guy can do it all and, and a lot of poise you know, a lot of poise. Um, so anyway, I wanted to put out a video about post-fight talking about this one. Um, I'd be curious to see what's next for um, Gegard Mousasi. You know, really anyone in the top eight, I'd be interested to see him fight. Um, I don't know who they're going to give next. It's kind of a, it's a weird position right now. So obviously, Yoel Romero is going to be fighting Michael Bisping. Um, Luke Rockhold, you know, he got injured or whatever, so he had to pull out of the Sousa fight. I think they should remake Rockhold Souza. Um, maybe have Gegard fight Chris Weidman. Hey, maybe. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing Gegard versus Anderson. I think that'd be a great fight. Or even Gegard Mousasi versus the winner of uh, Robert Whitaker. Water, sorry, <coughs> Robert Whitaker and Derek Brunson. They're fighting next weekend. I don't know if Gegard will go back a step now, um, but yeah, maybe uh, Chris Weidman, Anderson Silva. Maybe they'll give him Luke Rockhold or Ronaldo. Uh, but we'll see. Um, but I think Chris Wyman maybe be the right fight to make. Anyway, let me know what you guys think and, man, and who you want to see Musashi fight next. But, um, yeah, not, not a bad card. I mean, uh, nothing too spectacular, but some decent fights. You know, the, the, the heavyweight fight was an awesome fight as well with uh, Johnson and... Uh, can't remember the other guy's name, but uh, that was a great back and forth fight. But uh, that's it for this one. If you liked the video, subscribe. Check me out on Twitter at MMA Boxing Talk One, and um, stay tuned. I'll be putting out post fight videos uh, probably later on tonight for the UFC Brazil card. Um, yeah, I can't remember who's on that card right offhand, but uh, oh yeah, Thomas Almeida. Uh, he's fighting the first time since you know losing to, to Cody Garbrandt and being knocked out against Cody Garbrandt. And uh, Claudia Gedalia, she's bouncing back quickly after her loss from Yuani and Jacek. And in the main event, we have a rematch. Ryan Bader versus Little Nog, Antonio Nogueira. So uh, I'll be putting out post-fight videos for all that stuff later on tonight. Uh, but obviously, Sergey Kovalev is fighting Andre Ward in boxing. That's a big, big deal. Um... It's only the seventh time in boxing history that um, you know two undefeated fighters that are both thirty and zero. You know, there's only been seven times that there's been two guys that were at least thirty and zero face each other 
Um, you know, I, I think the last one was um, that had to be th- both 30 and 0 um, was Oscar De La Hoya and Felix Trinidad all the way back in 1999. Um, De La Hoya was 35 and 0, Trinidad was 31 and 0. That was a big, big fight. It really was a great, exciting fight. Hopefully, um, this Kovalev Ward fight will be will be really good for the fans. Um, so it is what it is. I have a prediction video for that, so check that out if you if you're interested in boxing. Um, but it is a big, big fight. It's a much better fight than Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather. You know, this fight, um, both guys are, are in their primes. They might be at the tail end of their primes, but they're still in their physical primes, 33 and 31, both undefeated. It's going to be hype. So that's it for this one. If you like the video, subscribe. Check me out on Twitter at MMA Boxing Talk One. Peace.